This article will show you how to replace your coolant pump. It is a very tight fit and will require patience. You will also need to drain and fill the system, so make sure you have all of the tools and parts you need before starting. To begin, make sure the vehicle is cold and not under pressure. Remove the front engine trim panel, blue arrows, and the intake or Y-pipe, red arrow. Some people do not remove the Y pipe, but if it is the first time doing this, you might want the extra room. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance if you want to do that. Use a seven millimeter socket and loosen both clamps on the rubber bellows, red arrows. If you have removed the Y pipe, the front clamp will already be loosened. Compress and remove the bellows. Next, you will need to remove the throttle body. Please follow the link provided at the end of the video for additional assistance with that task. Release the AOS lines from the top of each cylinder bank by squeezing in on the connections and guiding them off. Red arrows. It's a very tight fit and you may find using a pick to pull the release tabs apart may work better. Release the clamp for the plastic hose and move them out of the way to the right side of the engine. Note, our hoses were very old but functioning fine. I did not want to risk cracking them, so I left them in place. It is possible to do it this way, but it will leave you even less room. You will not be removing the serpentine belt, but I like to mark its direction just in case. Before loosening the belt tensioner, you need to loosen the three T30 torque screws on the pulley. You only have access to them when the screw is at the top. You need to loosen the tensioner and turn the coolant pulley until each screw is at the very top and then loosen it. Then do the procedure for the next screw. Once you have all the screws loosened, you can take the tension off the belt and remove the rest of the screws. Remove the pulley from the flange on the pump. The pulley is plastic, so do not hit it or pry it off. Just keep working it and wiggling it on each rotation and it will come off. The pulley will be removed at an angle and you will need to gently push back the radiator fan housing just a little bit to get it out. You are going to be removing the radiator hoses. You do not need to drain the radiator and even if you do, be prepared for a lot of coolant to come out when you remove the hoses and pump. Make sure that you have a large catch bucket below as the coolant will bounce off of everything. Use a set of hose clamp pliers and remove the clamps and hoses red arrows. Note at this point I have moved the front of the vehicle into the service position for photographic purposes only. You do not need to do this. There is a single T30 screw on the right side hose that secures it to the motor. You will need to remove this to move the hose. Red arrow. There are five E10 bolts holding the coolant pump to the engine. Red arrow, one shown. You are going to have to remove these. Do not remove the torque screws, just the E10 bolts. This is going to take a while to get to the lower ones. With the pump out of the vehicle, you can see the location of each bolt. I always like to replace these, but it is not mandatory. With all of the bolts removed, you can remove the pump. There is a good chance it will need a light tap with a rubber mallet to break the seal. Tap it on the pulley mount and tap it lightly. When installing the new pump, always make sure to coat the gasket with Porsche Synthetic coolant gasket seal before installing. With the pump off, you have access to the thermostat. Now is a really, really good time to replace it. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that. This will not be a quick job, but well worth doing once you have gotten this far. The red arrows show the two lower screws that will take patience to remove and install. Installation is the reverse of removal. Tighten the pump screws in a clockwise manner starting at the top screw and torque the coolant pump screws to 12 newton meters or 9 foot pounds. 
Now you will need to fill the coolant system. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.